Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star, okay? And the message I heard from God is so many connections, okay? The scripture God sent me to comes from Hosea 10, 1 through 2. Israel was spreading vine. He brought forth fruit for himself. As his fruit increased, he built more altars. As his land prospered, he adorned his sacred stones. Their heart is deceitful, and now they must bear their guilt. The Lord will demolish their altars and destroy their sacred stones. All right, y'all. So, sorry, y'all, if y'all can hear my son playing his game with his friends in the background. But anyways, the point of this message is, there are some people or someone amongst you that has all these connections. Um, and I feel like the point of them making these connections in general was to put themselves on a certain pedestal, put themselves in a certain kind of prestige. And in reality, I feel like um, this person has been using these connections. They have been using their um, popularity, if you will, in an attempt to destroy you and destroy others. They, um, they have put forth the effort to create altars in an attempt to pray to false idols and false gods. They may have even put these connections in a place where is higher than God. Like they have put this in a place higher than God himself. They feel like because of these connections, they have power. Because of these connections, they have authority to treat others a certain way. These connections have helped them to make a lot of money. These connections has helped them to expand their territory. Um, and I feel like um, these connections have kept them in a kind of loop. And, you know, interesting enough, I'm being reminded of a few videos I watched about um, Greek, the Greek uh, fraternities and sororities and different kind of little cliques and groups, y'all. And I remember when I was younger, um, I joined a sorority in high school, but it was never like, I have no idea where any of the people that was in it with me are. We never really kept up with each other. And in reality, it wasn't really serious. Um, and I did want to pursue it in college, but I never went. So as an adult, I had tried to join certain groups, but it just never worked out for me. Um, and in reality, I'm just not cut out for it. Honestly, I just cannot see myself. Um, I just, it just always felt weird to me. And as I started to watch these videos of people, um, well, renouncing their, um, their membership and the reason as to why, you know, God does not like us being in these kind of things. Cause a lot of them are very, uh, cult like they are cults they are um you throw you go through the hazing period which is why i never was able to do it because you is not you is not you is not gonna haze me i'm not gonna deal with going through certain things at one point i had tried to join this group and they poisoned me while i was out with them i came home and um my chest was just hurting so bad i had kept throwing up um, my son's father was looking at me and he was like, nah, you can't, this is not, he, he wasn't having it. He wasn't feeling it. He was scared that he was going to have to take me to the emergency room. And, you know, although, you know, it was just like, it was too much, you know, it was just too much for me. It was. I, I wasn't down with the bullying. I wasn't down with nobody trying to make me feel no kind of way. And especially at that point in time in my life, I was um, still modeling. I was still a makeup artist. And, you know, I had quite a following on Instagram. Well, I still do. But on Instagram, I had quite a following. And 
Um, and one of the stories that I watched of a girl saying why she wasn't able to go through the process, she was talking about how they kept on bringing up her social media. All of them had social media. Everybody else was free to post. Everybody else was free to maintain, but they kept picking on hers. And it was simply because of the way that hers was going. You know, she was already kind of taking off. She had a nice following and, um, you know, in reality, I feel like they were envious of that. And then she was saying it wasn't even the leaders, like the girls that were already in the group. It was her line members who they don't have any rights to tell you what to do anyways. But um, I just feel like it was very toxic. OK, it was um, toxic for me and I was just not dealing with it. I didn't like it. I didn't like all the shade. I didn't like the hate. I didn't like um, in some instances, I felt like the only reason they wanted me to take pictures is so that they could gain a following. And it made me feel some kind of way, not because I'm shady or anything like that. It is what it is. But, you know, I never was the kind of person that did that. Um, I got it out the mud. Every person that followed me, I worked for it or they followed me because they found my my page or my channel or whatever their own on their own. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, but back to the matter at hand. I feel like this is for somebody. They have all these connections. And they are using it against you. They have used it against others. And God is saying he is going to demolish their altars and destroy their sacred stones. He is going to pull them down in the midst of these connections. And, you know, that's like really what I feel like it is. Okay. Like in general, God is saying that he does not bless this. Okay. Okay. God does not want us in um, any of these cult-like things, okay? The things that you have to go through to join are not of God. The things that you do after are not of God. Some of the, symboliz some of the symbolism, the poses, um, just some of the things, the activities I hear God saying. It's so many things that is partakes in, in these um, groups, okay? that are not what God wants of us. God wants us to have him at a high, okay? And, you know, just like I just went over the scripture, well, we are not supposed to take an oath to anything. And in a lot of these groups, you have to oath and swear by this group. You can't share any information. You can't share this. You can't do that. You can't do this. And God does not want us doing these things. Um. So I don't know if this is for someone you have been... um. Maybe you have been feeling some kind of gang stalking. You've been gang stalked by someone or someone is trying to harass you and they're using their connections to do that. Or this is for somebody. You are in the midst of um, thinking about joining one of these cults or you're thinking about um, partaking in one of these groups. And God is sending me to intervene and tell you that it is not of God and he does not want his children partaking in these things. God does not want us um, to be a part of things that do things like this. Their heart is deceitful. It is, um, it's very deceitful. It looks good from the outside, but in reality, it's not what God wants for us. Okay. And that's literally what it is. I feel like God is saying you are doing this to make connections. And that's what you see. You see the connections that you'll make. You feel as though you'll be able to get a job anywhere. You feel as though you'll be able to make all this money or you'll have this certain kind of lifestyle. You'll be able to have a certain kind of friends or you have a certain group of friends or you'll be able to look a certain way. But in reality, God is the plug. Okay, I, I tell you hands down, God is the plug. God is the plug. God is the ultimate plug that you could ever have. God is the one that you should go to for help. God is the one that you should seek for any kind of justice that may come against you. For someone, you feel like if you join this group, you will get justice. Maybe you felt like you were picked on or um, people made fun of you. Like uh, for somebody in high school, maybe you felt like you were picked on. Maybe you feel like um, people made fun of you. And if you join this group, you will feel as though people aren't going to make fun of you anymore. 
I'm here to tell you, people are going to make fun of you forever, okay? And it don't matter what you do. It don't matter how you do it. Um, you can have the most fabulous lifestyle, and people will still find some kind of reason, some kind of, um, they will find some kind of reason to talk about you. It don't matter if you're doing bad or if you're doing good. They're going to find something to say. It's going to be something to make fun of. And like I said, even in my experience, I was doing good. I was like, I can't lie. Like I was on my, I don't want to say in my crime, but I was doing very well at that time. I was like living in a limelight, living the lifestyle of my dreams. And um, they still found anything to say about me. They would shoot slugs towards me. I would be on Facebook and Instagram and they would be posting things, talking about me. And I knew they were talking about me because God gave me the gift of discernment. And I knew that they were um, intending for it to hurt me and to hurt my feelings. And once I started seeing that, I started to question, do I really want to be friends with them? And, you know, I get it. Um, a lot of times in these groups, you have to go through hazing at the beginning. You have to go through a hazing ritual and everybody supposedly goes through it. But um, I don't want friends that are trying to poison me. I don't want friends that are talking about me and making fun of me. I don't want friends that are um, shooting slugs towards me. I don't want friends that are attempting to blackmail me. I don't want friends that are attempting to set me up. I, I just, I don't have time for it, okay? I could buy my own coat and get my name stitched on it and be just fine. And I'm just being, <laughs> I'm being real. Y'all already know your girl is a uh, quicks with the quicks. I, I'll buy my own baby, okay? And it'll be the color I want, pink, okay? <laughs> And I'm just being real. And, you know, as somebody that used to try so hard to fit in, and I just wanted to fit in so bad until I finally realized I will never fit in. I'm always going to stand out. And maybe that's just what I am meant to do. Okay. And um, this is for you. You know, if you are trying so hard to fit in, stop. Be who you are. And understand that that is your power. The fact that you are different is your power. Everybody is not going to be the same. And why would you want to be like everybody else anyway? That's literally like that's legit what God just said. Why would you want to be like everybody else anyway? Um, God made you different. That's what he said. He made you different and he loves you just the way that you are. And there is no need for you to um, bend over backwards to try to fit in with anybody okay the friends that are meant to, for you they will find you and it's okay okay thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe